With this series, I'm attempting to document as much of Pro Tools as I can, and I want to do it in a way that is easy to use, fast, and efficient, so that you can spend less time trying to figure out this software and more time working with it. In this installment, we will be taking a look at the functions of the View menu. The View menu has to do with the visual characteristics of your edit and mix window interfaces. If you are wondering about how to customize your display to better fit your workflow in Pro Tools, you are on the right installment. So let's take a look at our index and figure out what you need to know. To display your mic preamp controls in the mix window, go to the view menu, mix window views, the mic preamps. This row will show up in your mix window. There are currently no preamps set up. To set up a hardware preamp to Pro Tools, you need to find two different menus. First, go to Setup, Peripherals, Mic Preamps, and fill in the corresponding info for your hardware preamp. Next, go to the Setup, I.O., Mic Preamps to fill in the I.O. path of the hardware unit. Here is what it should look like and the parameters that you will have available to you in the Mix window once your preamp is set up. To display your instrument controls in the Mix window, go to View, Mix Window Views, Instruments. This row will show up in your mix window. You have access to the instrument I.O., mute, velocity, and pan through this display. To display more or less inserts in the mix window, go to view, mix window views, inserts. A through E will display your first set of five inserts. F through J will display your second set of five inserts. Inserts are used to apply processing functions to channels. To display more or less sends in the mix window, go to View, Mix Window Views, Sends. A through E will display your first set of five sends. F through J will display your second set of five sends. Sends are used to route a specific channel somewhere else in the mix. To display your meters and faders in your mix window, go to View, Mix Window Views, Meters and Faders. Your meters and faders are usually displayed by default. This allows you to hide them from the mix window. To display your delay compensation indicators in the mix window, go to View, Mix Window Views, Delay Compensation. You might notice the data in this section can change from green to orange to red. Green is normal. Orange indicates that the specific track has the most delay compensation in the entire session. Red means that there is too much delay created from processing and it cannot be compensated. This will create latency on that channel. Notice that the channel that was once orange is now green because it is no longer the channel with the most delay. The first number shows how much delay is created from processing. The second row shows the amount of user delay input onto the track. The third row shows how much Pro Tools delay compensation is being utilized. To display track color in the mix window, go to View, Mix Window Views, Track Color. If you double click on the track color, you can open up the color palette and change the track color. You can also turn on the channel saturation which then allows you to change the color of the entire track. To display comments in the mix window, go to View, Mix Window Views, Comments. Left click on this gray box to add text comments to a specific channel. To display all of the mix window view options, go to View, Mix Window Views, All. This displays all of the available mix window displays. To display a predetermined minimum amount of information in your mix window, go to View, Mix Window Views, None. This will display a predetermined minimum, in this case, meters and track color. To decrease the width of each channel in the mix window, go to View, Narrow Mix, or Option Command M. This is helpful if you want to see a large number of tracks without scrolling. To view your track comments in your edit window, go to View, Edit Window Views, Comments. Left click on the gray box to add text comments to a specific channel. To display your preamp controls in your edit window, go to View, Edit Window Views, Mic Preamps. This row will show up in your edit window. There are currently no preamps set up. First, go to Setup, Peripherals, Mic Preamps and fill in the corresponding info for your hardware preamp. Next, go to Setup, I.O., Mic Preamps to fill in the I.O. path of the hardware unit. Here is what it should look like in the parameters that you will have available to you in the edit window once your preamp is set up. To display your instrument controls in the edit window, go to View, Edit Window Views, Instruments. This row will show up in your edit window. You have access to the instrument's I.O., 
mute, velocity, and pan through this display. To display more or less inserts in the edit window, go to View, Edit Window Views, Inserts. A through E will display the first set of five inserts. F through J will display your second set of five inserts. Inserts are used to apply processing functions to channels. To display more or less sends in the edit window, go to View, Edit Window Views, Sends. A through E will display your first set of five sends. F through J will display your second set of five sends. Sends are used to route a specific channel somewhere else in the mix. To display your I.O. settings of a track in your edit window, go to View, Edit Window Views, I.O. This will display your input and output of each channel along with the volume and pan controls. To display your real-time properties in your edit window, go to View, Edit Window Views, Real-Time Properties. This will display multiple real-time property controls on their instrument and MIDI tracks. These parameters include quantization, duration, delay, velocity, and transposition once completely extended. To display track color in the edit window, go to View, Edit Window Views, Track Color. If you double click on the track color, you can open up the color palette and change the track color. To display all of the above options in your edit window, go to View, Edit Window Views, All. This will display all of the above edit window view options. To display a minimal amount of edit window view options, go to View, Edit Window Views, Minimal. This will display a minimal amount of edit window view options. To display your bars and beats ruler in your edit window, go to View, Rulers, Bars and Beats. This will display a ruler that measures the bars and beats of your session timeline. To display your minutes and seconds ruler in your edit window, go to View, Rulers, Minutes, Seconds. This will display a ruler that measures the minutes and seconds of your session timeline. To display your timecode ruler in your edit window, go to View, Rulers, Timecode. This will display a ruler that measures the timecode of your session timeline. To display your second timecode ruler in your edit window, go to View, Rulers, Timecode 2. This will display a ruler that measures the second timecode standard you have set for your session. To display your feet and frames ruler in your edit window, go to View, Rulers, Feet and Frames. This will display a ruler that measures the feet and frames of your session timeline. To display your samples ruler in your edit window, go to View, Rulers, Samples. This will display a ruler that measures the samples of your session timeline. To display your markers ruler in your edit window, go to View, Rulers, Markers. This will display a ruler with all of the memory locations you created in your session. To create a memory location, click on the plus button in the marker ruler, and you will get this pop-up screen that adjusts the settings of each memory location. To display your tempo ruler in your edit window, go to View, Rulers, Tempo. This will display a ruler with the tempos of the session. You can add or change the tempo with this ruler. To add a tempo change, click this plus button in the tempo ruler and you will receive this pop-up screen to adjust the tempo. To display your tempo editor in your edit window, go to View Rulers Tempo Editor. You must have your tempo ruler displayed. The tempo editor allows you to have more visual display of the session's tempo map and allows you to click and drag any tempo changes within the session. To display your meter ruler in the edit window, go to View Rulers Meter. This will display a ruler outlining the meter and meter changes of the session. To add a new meter, click the plus button in the meter ruler, and you will receive this pop-up screen which allows you to adjust the meter of the session. To display your key signature ruler in the edit window, go to View Rulers Key Signature. This will display a ruler outlining the key signature changes of the session. Whatever is done in this ruler will also be added to the score editor. To view the score editor, press Shift Option Equals. To display your key signature staff ruler in the edit window, go to View Rulers Key Signature Staff. You must have the key signature ruler displayed. This will display a ruler outlining the complete key signature staff and key changes. Note, whatever is done in this ruler will also be added to the score editor. To view the score editor, press Shift Option Equals. To display your chord symbols in the edit window, go to View Rulers Chord Symbols. This will display a ruler outlining the chord symbols input into the session. Note, whatever is done in this ruler will also be added to the score editor. To view the score editor, press Shift Option Equals. To display all of the rulers in the edit window, go to View Rulers All. This will display all available rulers in the edit window. 
To display a minimal amount of rulers in the edit window, go to View Rulers Minimal. This will display only the ruler that you have selected from your main counter. In this case, it is bars and beats. To display your universe map in the edit window, go to View Other Displays Universe. This displays an overview of your entire edit window session. This is helpful for scrolling to a specific clip in a busy session efficiently. To display your tracks list, go to View Other Displays Tracks List. This will display a list of all the tracks in the session, giving you information on the name, color, and track type. This list also allows you to deactivate tracks by clicking on the dot to the far left of the corresponding track. The tracks list also gives you control over your groups in the session. It gives you info such as group name and color, and the ability to activate and deactivate the group as well. To display your clips list, go to View Other Displays Clips List. This will display all the clips within the session. This is the raw media for the session. This is where you can export specific clips and manage the actual session content. To display your MIDI editor, go to View Other Displays MIDI Editor. This will display your MIDI editor for MIDI and instrument tracks. To display a small green arrow where sync points are located, go to View Clip Sync Points. This will display a small green arrow where you have identified a sync point. To identify a sync point, go to Clip Identify Sync Point or Command Comma. To display the elastic audio processing state of a clip, go to View Clip Processing State. This will display the elastic audio symbol in the top left of each clip with elastic audio enabled. To enable elastic audio, click on this menu on the desired track and choose the clip warp category. To adjust the elastic audio settings, go to Clip Elastic Properties or Option 5 on the number pad. To display the name of the clip, go to View Clip Name. This will display the name of the clip in the top left hand corner of the clip. To display the clip's owner name in the collaborative session, go to View Clip owner. This will display the owner's name if there are clips from multiple owners within a collaborative session. To display the channel name or scene and take from a field recording device on a clip, go to View Clip Channel Name or View Clip Scene and Take. This will display the channel name or scene and take if specified in the field recording device. There will be a link in the description to learn more about field recording functions in Pro Tools. To display the clip rating, go to View Clip Rating. Rating is chosen by right-clicking and selecting a number between 1 and 5. This can be helpful in deciding which take is the best. To view a dog ear on overlapped clips, go to View Clip Overlap. This will display a dog ear on overlapped tracks. To enable clip transparency, go to View Clip Transparency. Having transparency enabled will display a transparent version of the clip that you are moving while having a solid version of the clip remain in its original location. This is helpful for seeing exactly where you are about to place a clip in relation to its original location. To display the clip gain line, go to View Clip Clip Gain Line. This will display a line through the middle of the clip in which you can adjust the clip gain. To display clip gain info on your clip, go to View Clip Clip Gain Info. This will display how much clip gain is added to the specific clip or clip segment. To display the current time of the clip, go to View Clip Current Time. This will display the time of the clip where it is currently placed. To display the original time of the clip, go to View Clip Original Time. This will display the time of the clip where it was originally located in the session. To display the user time stamp of the clip, go to View Clip User Time. This will display an arbitrary timestamp decided by the user. To set the user timestamp, go to your clips list and right click on the clip you want to adjust. User time is helpful to make relative adjustments to a specific location in your session. To stop displaying time on your clip, go to View Clip No Time. This will remove any timestamps from your clip. To display your clip view settings on all channels, go to View Clip Display on All Channels. This will apply all of your clip view settings to every channel in the session. To change between peak and power waveform display, go to View Waveforms Peak or View Waveforms Power. Peak displays all of the transients of the signal, while power displays the RMS level, which relates more to the average amplitude. To change your waveform view to rectified, go to View Waveforms Rectified. Rectified waveform is a summation of both negative and positive cycles. This can be helpful for workflows that require easy visual references, such as adjusting volume automation. To outline your waveform, go to View Waveforms Outlines. 
This will add or subtract a black outline around the waveform. To view overlapped crossfades, go to View Waveform Overlapped Crossfades. This will show you a visual representation of how two different clips fade into each other relative to the crossfade added. To view more sends information in your mix and edit window, go to View Expanded Sends, then choose the send you want to see more of. This will expand the selected send to give you control over send level, send panning, mute, and pre-fader selection. To expand all sends in your mix and edit windows, go to View Expanded Sends All. This will expand all sends. To contract all sends in your mix and edit windows, go to View Expanded Sends None. This will contract all sends. To display track numbers in both edit and mix windows, go to View Track Number. This will numerically label all of your channels in the order that they are in. The View menu can also change how your transport window is displayed. To open your transport window, go to Window Transport or Command 1 on the number pad. This is the transport with the least amount of functions. To view the counters on your transport, go to View Transport Counters. This will show a version of your main counter on your transport. To view the MIDI controls on your transport, go to View Transport MIDI Controls. This will display MIDI related controls on your transport. To view the synchronization buttons on your transport, go to View Transport Synchronization. This will display the synchronization buttons on your transport. To display the output meters on your transport window, go to View Transport Output Meters. This will display the output meter on your transport. To display an expanded version of your transport window that has more information regarding each tool, go to View Transport Expanded. This will expand your transport relatively to what you have chosen to display. To display bars and beats in your main counter, go to View Main Counter Bars and Beats. This will display bars and beats as your primary session measurement. To display minutes and seconds in your main counter, go to View Main Counter Minutes Seconds. This will display minutes seconds as your primary session measurement. To display time code in your main counter, go to View Main Counter Time Code. This will display your first time code setting as your primary session measurement. To display feet and frames in your main counter, go to View Main Counter Feet and Frames. This will display feet and frames as your primary session measurement. To display samples in your main counter, go to View Main Counter Samples. This will display samples as your primary session measurement. Note, you also have the ability to add a secondary measurement to your main counter.